Once you upload your presentation to SlideShare, you can add media. And to do that, select Edit Delete. That just takes you to um, the control panel for that presentation. You can change your Creative Commons license, um, but if you scroll back up, to the, up to the top, this is where you have your YouTube and slide casting options. So first, to insert a YouTube video, you um, copy the URL to the video here in this box, and then you select the position you'd like it to play in. You can't embed the video in a slide in particular, but what SlideShare will do is insert that slide, um, that video in between two slides. And you can add multiple videos at a time and publish when you're done. Now to add your narration, you would select Create Slide Cast, and it does have to be an MP3, so click Upload Your MP3 File, and then um, find that file on your desktop. And when the video attaches, um, I'm sorry, when the audio attaches to your slides, the synchronization tool will show up. And now that the syncing tool is up, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and just get rid of this dialog box. Um, there are basically three parts to this tool. There's your slide, um, your slides up at the top, in the middle you have your workspace, this is where you can drag the playheads um, to sync your audio, and then you have the audio selector down at the bottom. Ideally you would have a waveform here and that makes it a lot easier to slink, sync up the slides. Um, but you can just for now play the audio and then as the audio plays your playhead in your workspace does move and you can um, drag the playhead up there you can drag it down in your audio selector although it is kind of small it's hard to grab um, and you can also drag that gray selector tool to advance in your audio file and you'll notice that depending on what slide I have selected um, the timeline does adjust itself. So I have slide 5 selected, here's slide 5 in my workspace, and I can slide the start and end marks back and forth. Um, and then down here also, you can kind of see back there, the slide 5 is highlighted right there. I do recommend that you save early and save often, so there's the save button right there. Um, you can start over at any time. Um, the default is that the audio is synced up equally between all slides, so that's kind of nice to give you a little bit of a starting point. Um, and then you can preview your saved work before you publish. And also another nice thing about SlideShare is that after you publish, um, you can always come back at any time and edit either your slides, your audio, or the YouTube videos. And then when you're done, you would just click Publish, and you'll be taken to um, the player that the students see. Oh, actually, you have to click, sorry about that, scroll up and click View Presentation. So Publish basically just makes your changes public. So this is the player that the students see, and um, I've already pointed out in previous videos that there are some um, social options here. And then um, the next video, if you want to stay tuned, will be how to embed these um, presentations in either Blackboard or your blog.